And that was the Donkey Song by Fiesco and the Majestics. And as we've said before, I am a big fan of anybody who is willing to let their name be a dad pun. So Fiasco, I would say go check her out. She's got a lot of interest in music and she's another one of those ones with the cool vintage vibes, whether that's the music or the presentation. If you want a little trip down memory lane, I would say go listen to Fiasco and the Majestics. Interesting that they do the donkey song. There's not that many songs about donkeys. I mean, apart from like Little Donkey when you're at school and you're singing an assembly and that. The only other one that immediately springs to mind is that one, that odious, oh, what was that turd called again? I think it was called Jared Neiman or Nyman or Newman or something like that. The one who did that stupid rappy country song. I put country in quote bunnies if you didn't see that. The one where he kind of rapped at the start, robotized like he was on that Friday song, you know, at 7am when the club is jumping. Like, no, no, that's not country. That's barely even music. But anyway, he went to do another song called the Donkey Song. It was like, I'm going to ride this donkey, donkey, down to the honky tonky. And you just couldn't help but hope that that donkey bucked him and trampled his fucking heat into dust. You know, I was walking along with a band the other day when we were going to the pub to get some tea. And we saw a field of donkeys, and I told him, you know, son, you're like donkey, donkey off Shrek. You talk incessantly, and I just want to be left alone in me swamp. You were lumped on us out of nowhere, but you know what? I can't actually live without you. Not coming home with me. I live alone. My swamp. Me. Nobody else. Understand? Nobody. And he said to us, I'm not a donkey. No, you are. And I was like, did you just say you are? <laughs> And it's that sad time of the day again, where I must bid you all adieu. I'm gonna double down on the banjo in for you. We're gonna go with the train that carried my girl home by the Earls of Leicester. I always thought the Earl of Leicester was Gary Lineker. And then, for my honky-tonk heroine, Banjo Jen, with Sold My Soul for a Dime. Gotta say, having listened to how she plays, I think her soul was definitely worth more than a dime, unless she sold it for all that banjo in. You know, she said herself that although it's not about her, you know, it could be, you know, it's close enough, it's pretty accurate. She had this idea of an old woman on her front porch reminiscing about a colourful life. Although she's asking for more time, she's not remorseful at all and would do it all again. Warts and all. I really like that, you know. You know, I love Defiance as well. So much like Jen, I dig the idea of an older woman saying, This is me! I'm not sorry for it, and I'm just going to sing about my rambling life. As she said herself when I talked to her, those songs usually come from a male perspective. And she's right, you know, all those kind of great and gentle on my mind style songs. It's absolutely belted to hear it coming from a lass. And this one didn't get me a fucking speeding ticket. Keep it rogue, everybody. Peace.